Hello everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is another video in the series of educational videos we are offering. The title of this video is What is Maintainability? Maintainability is one of the characteristics of a component. Reliability is also a characteristic of that component. From the first video, we have defined reliability. If a manufacturer designs a component to have a reliability equals to 0.99 or 99%, it means the probability that this component will fulfill the required function in a period of time under stated operational and environmental conditions is equal to 0.99. It is the probability of success. It is a high probability value. However, it is not sufficient to look at the reliability during the design of the component. Rather, we need to look also at the maintainability. Why? Because if the component fails, we need to maintain it, right? We need to fix it, repair it. We need to apply a proper maintenance intervention to get it back to the normal conditions to the specified performance limits. The ability that this component will come back to its normal conditions is the so-called maintainability. So it is not sufficient to design the component by looking only at the reliability, but also we need to think about maintainability during the component's design. So maintainability is not something related only to the operational maintenance, rather it is one of the design parameters that we need to think about during the component's design. Overall, if I am designing a component, I would like this component to have a high reliability value, means a high probability of success, and also a high maintainability value, means high capability that this component, if it gets maintained, it will come back to the normal conditions. Just like reliability, there is no universally accepted definition of maintainability. If you would like to define maintainability from scratch, let us come back to the dictionary. Maintainability as a noun is defined as a facility with which something can be maintained. If you would like to dig more about its definition, you will find a lot of definitions in the literature. This might create a confusion in your mind. So now I will introduce three common definitions of maintainability, highlight key terms and concepts behind these definitions and interpret them in details. The first definition of maintainability taken from reference one states that Maintainability is the probability that a failed component or system will be restored or repaired to a specified condition within a period of time when maintenance is performed in accordance with the prescribed procedures. Looking at this definition, you can recognize that the maintainability definition is based on four key terms and concepts here highlighted in four different colors they are. First, maintainability is expressed in terms of probability. Probability of what? Probability that a failed component or system will be restored or rebuilt. Second term will be restored or rebuilt to a specified condition. For which period of time? So the third term specifies the period of time or the stated time interval for which the maintenance intervention will be carried out. The last term states that the maintenance to be performed in accordance with the prescribed procedures. Now the definition is complete. The second definition of maintainability taken from reference to states that maintainability is a characteristic of an item as stated at the introduction of this video. Maintainability is expressed by the probability. Probability of what? Probability that a preventive maintenance or a repair of an item will be performed for which period of time? Within a stated time interval for a given procedures and resources. These procedures and resources here have been explicitly defined skill level of personnel, spare parts, test facilities, etc. 
The last definition of maintainability taken from reference 3 states that maintainability in engineering design is defined as the relative ease and economy of time and resources with which an item can be retained in or restored to a specified condition when maintenance is performed by personnel having specified skill levels using prescribed procedures and resources at each prescribed level of maintenance and repair. So this definition is long, but it contains the same terms and concepts previously defined. So if we look at these definitions carefully, we can observe that maintainability refers to the measures taken during the design, development, manufacturing, and installation of the system or component that reduce the time required for the maintenance. These four terms and concepts are necessary for designing, assessing, analyzing, and managing the component's maintainability. Now, I will start interpreting each of these terms in detail. Term 1 states that maintainability is defined in terms of probability. It means that the maintainability is a random phenomenon and it is concerned with meeting the specified probability of carrying out the maintenance interventions. Since maintainability predicts the future behavior of a component or a system maintenance, therefore it is expressed in terms of probability. The probability can be estimated using statistics and hence maintainability requires both probability and the statistics. As the maintainability is expressed as a probability, therefore its value lies between zero, the minimum value of maintainability, and one, the maximum value of maintainability. In the upcoming videos, we will explain the meaning of zero and one in detail. Meanwhile, keep in your mind that if you get a value of maintainability less than zero or greater than one, then it means that you have made a mistake somewhere in your calculations. Term two states that the system or component will be restored or repaired to a specified condition. What does it mean? In practical terms, the specified conditions mean that the failed component or system has to be restored to the specified or predefined operating conditions. Generally, the predefined conditions are defined by the component designer or the component users in the form of, for example, product specifications, data sheets, and operations documents. Therefore, the maintainability engineers have to ensure that the component will meet the specified conditions after the implementation of the maintenance interventions. Term 3 states that the maintenance will be performed within a stated period of time or expected time interval. Since the cost of maintenance is significant, therefore, it is essential to estimate the time required for the implementation of the maintenance interventions. The first time is the mean time to repair, that is, the expected value of the corrective repair time. The second time is the mean value of a preventive repair or maintenance time, or mean time to preventive maintenance, MTTPM. These two times are expressed in operating hours. They may or may not include waiting time for maintenance personnel and spare parts, travel time, and administrative time. Overall, maintainability has to be built into the systems or components during design and development stages by realizing a maintenance concept. Term 4 of the maintainability definition, last term, states that the maintenance will be performed in accordance with the prescribed procedures. What does it mean? Maintainability achieved in the field is largely depends on the resources or the logistic support and accessibility, such as skills of the manpower involved in the maintenance interventions, the availability of the required material or tools for the maintenance actions, and the correct installation of the component or the system. Therefore, the maintenance procedures have to be defined at design and development stage of that component, 
and the maintenance manual should also include the procedure to be followed, list of required tools and material with their specifications. To conclude, maintainability is one of the characteristics of a component similar to the reliability. It includes four terms, probability, specified conditions, required time to carry out the maintenance intervention, and last, this maintenance intervention should be carried out according to the prescribed procedures by highlighting the required skills level, the availability of material and tools to carry out and fulfill the maintenance interventions completely. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that the information presented in this video are valuable. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any query, please send it to our email address. Bye-bye.